I picked one hell of a week to start vlogging every single day. See, this week has been great, but it's also been a tough one. See, this little guy went and got himself injured yesterday. Hi, oh, bud. Do you want to show off your injury? <sighs> this is Arthur. Arthur is a sweet little angel when he's not being an absolute terror. Today, he's mandatorily a sweet little angel because he hurt his back hip. What did he do? Tear soft tissues? Tear soft tissues in his hip region, which is not great. I was thinking about this because this whole week, it's felt like getting this vlog out has been like a battle every single day. And my goal is never to just upload those like, I didn't do anything today vlogs. But at the same time, sometimes life gets in the way and it gets really difficult to write and work on things that are passion projects. And so thinking about it, this is, probably one of the worst weeks I could have chose to start vlogging because there's been so much going on from having multiple shoots and projects to work on this week that I need to get done before holiday this week which means I won't be working to both of my pets having medical issues that need to be tended to and have taken up multiple hours of my day to just needing to spend time with my wife because that's important. So actually getting this vlog out has been a battle like every single day. And I think more than actually writing this script, getting this vlog out every day has been more impactful because it's actually showing me that I can be dedicated and make something every single day. And even if it is only four minutes long, or three minutes long, or a minute and a half long of me talking to the camera in my dining room, it still is getting something done every single day. I think that practice and that dedication is more important than anything else, because the dedication is what actually gets you to the finish line, not just like waiting for the right circumstance. It's in Atomic Habits where they talk about becoming a person that goes to the gym. Not someone that works out every day, but thinking more along the lines of, I'm someone who goes to the gym. I am someone who works out. And I think
And I think that's a really important distinction or, or habit to get into as a filmmaker and a creative as well. Not necessarily being someone who makes movies, but someone who is creative consistently, right? Three hours later. first getting started. He would make a lot of videos about done being better than perfect. And I think, especially when you're first starting out on a project and you're first like kind of finding, like that project is finding its legs, it's important to just get it done, not necessarily to make it perfect. There will be time to edit this draft, this script, there will be time to edit the movie. There's always time to edit the vlog, but I would rather get the draft out on paper, get the script finished so that I have something to edit, and get the vlog shot so that I have something to edit, something to mold and create. I shoot a lot more than I actually put in the vlog a lot of the time. I write a lot more than probably is gonna end up there. But getting it out, getting it done, being someone that shoots a video, writes words, being a filmmaker is more about doing it, getting it done, than doing it perfectly and getting it done perfectly all the time. And more importantly than all of that, getting something done means you actually did it and you're not waiting for the perfect circumstance or someone to come and give you 10 million dollars to go make your movie and instead you're putting in the work and actually working towards making it yourself and while this week has been tough and i still have to pack and i have a million things that i need to be doing i'm also really proud and excited that i've made something every single day I have at least thought about why I'm not able to get part of the movie done. Um, and a lot of the time, I've gotten more written. I've got more written? I've written more than I would have if I wasn't doing this vlog. So, I don't know. I don't know if there's a moral to this story. It's probably not a Disney movie, so I'll just leave you with that, hopefully that helps or is inspiring or something. But I'll catch you guys tomorrow from Florida. Peace.